I'm Jennifer Moore. And I'm Al Alvarez. I've known Al and Becky for about three years now. I actually met Al on the set of a movie, as we're both actors, and they invited me to a party at their home that they were hosting, and we became fast friends. Now, over the years that they've lived here, I've noticed they've remodeled everything but the kitchen, and it kind of shows. They've used their home to host in-house concerts for up-and-coming bands. They've used it for a location for indie films, Inside and Out. And also, they've used it as a meeting place for other artistic ventures to happen. As Jennifer mentioned, my name is Al. It's Al Alvarez. And my wife, Becky, and I are very glad to have Jennifer as our family friend. Now, we moved here about eight years ago. And at that time, business was really good as a realtor. Uh, we found it, uh, and uh, we immediately fell in love with the location. Uh, we're just north of town, about 15 minutes from the airport, uh, straight up the expressway. Uh, my wife does travel a bit for a living, and she's gone to Idaho uh, this week on business. Um, I can tell you that we sit on about two and a half acres of the land. The house is 2,500 square feet. We have a landscape nursery immediately to our, our west. And on our east side, we have an acre and a half of vacant property that's actually being used because of the economy. It's just being used for farming. Uh, we back to a stand of cypress trees and it's holding a lot of water this time of year. So it's an absolutely beautiful view. Uh, the house was built in 1985. Now, when we moved in, as I mentioned, business was good. I was a realtor and it's, the economy has just killed the business. We, at the time, we started to remodel immediately. The house was very dated. Uh, we actually replaced about 1,800 square feet of, believe it or not, pink carpet. <laughs> uh, and also in the hallway, the guest bath, the laundry, uh, and the entryway, it, it was a mix of pink and gray, uh, almost a battleship gray, square tiles, about four inches uh, squares. Um, we've replaced it with this beautiful porcelain tile that my wife picked out, it's an 18 inch tile that runs throughout the, the home. Uh, and we're very, very happy with it, especially since my wife has allergies. It really helps us there. Um, but uh, we've remodeled pretty much the entire home. We painted inside entirely, uh, the entire outside of our home. We replaced the old fashioned blue awnings with a more contemporary look. We've changed out all the light fixtures. We have a lot of ceiling fans that are very contemporary in our home. Uh, we've remodeled both bathrooms uh, as, uh, as well as uh, doing a lot of work on our outside deck where we do entertain. Uh, it, it's, it's come to the point now where our kitchen is, is, is just so old fashioned. It's the old Formica uh, cabinets. And as, as they do serve their purpose, they're, become, they're getting to the point where they're, they're in disrepair. Uh, so uh, I thank Jennifer very much for nominating us uh, for this kitchen remodel. And uh, well, I, I think the best way to really explain it is let's show them exactly what we mean about these cabinets, Jennifer. Okay. Well, we've had a nice breakfast and we're gonna show you around the kitchen at some of the flaws that have occurred over the last 20 so years. I'd uh, be an older kitchen. Oh, look who's coming oh out. Oh, my God. How did he get in there? Uh, these doors just don't close right. You know, the hinges are kind of messed up on them. And I've even had, I've had friends, little children. Children, yeah, yes. They're, they're drawn to it uh, somehow. But I was going to show you that later, but it's kind of it's funny. funny that he came out of there, yeah. <laughs> and first thing on our list, number one, is that when we originally purchased a home, uh, the woodwork along the bottom of the cabinets and the top of these um, doors down here was blue to match the accent tile that you see inside the countertop. Uh, Becky painted it to match our color scheme and it's just kind of chipped away if you'll, if, yeah, as you can see here. Yeah, really coming through. Yeah, I've touched it up it. and touched yeah. it up. I'm out of touch of paint and I'm just over touching it up, okay? Uh, second of all, the, uh, the tile. Uh, the tile is chipping in places, uh, as you can see here at the bottom here and, and over there as well. Yeah, it's, um, right it's really chipped bad on the outside, so when you try to use it as a breakfast nook, I'm afraid that somebody's going to cut themselves. Uh, it's chipped along here as well on the bottom. Uh, the, um, the cabinets themselves 
are just so outdated because, I mean, who has white Formica cabinets nowadays? I mean, they're just, I mean, they're so yeah, functional, but you get to the, the, the doors are loose, a lot of the hinges are loose on these things, uh, and they just don't all close right like they should. They don't stay, they don't stay closed. I've tried adjusting them, but it, it just drives me crazy. Um, on this particular door here, as well as a couple of the other ones, you can tell where the hinge is loose. Now, I've put... I put longer, fatter screws in with wood glue and, and wood shavings and things of that nature. They're made of particle board and they just won't hold the screw any longer. And I don't know how to reset these hinges, these cup hinges. So they're just um, totally inadequate. Uh, getting back to the tile also, not only is it chipped, but if you'll notice here, it's kind of starting to bow, where it's got right. some water damage, the water seeking in there. Ooh. And wherever you have water damage there's a chance of mold you know yeah Ew. that's not good at all um also uh right here behind the sink since it's a set in sink there's kind of a trough that holds water and yeah. that's unhealthy too because it, it tends to collect debris yeah, and again yeah, it's mold, yeah it, it's it's an invitation for mold Ew. not good okay. not good at all yeah. here's in, in the tile this grout it's just so hard to keep clean. You can see along the backsplash there. And um, whenever we do have a special event or we have, yeah, whenever we have guests coming over for the holidays, I find myself just clearing the, the countertops and actually getting the cleanser, you know, a, an abrasive cleanser and getting a toothbrush or right. a scrubbing pad and having to clean it out that way. That takes forever. It's just so old fashioned and it doesn't go with the rest of the house that we've remodeled and we love so much. And plan on staying here for quite some time. Right. You know, I'd like this to be our last home. So um, we thank you for your, the consideration that you've given us uh, uh, with this kitchen remodel. We thank Jennifer. She's a very good That's friend awesome. for nominating us. You definitely deserve it. You always entertain and you help out the local artists by letting them have concerts and you're always cooking for people. And well, it's my pleasure. And for locations. So definitely like to see it happen. Thank you, Jennifer. You're welcome. Thank you.